This podcast is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Yeah, Jalen, uh, just curious about, you know, not having Andrew out there and not having Ty- uh, Tyrone. Is it is it going to be an issue like with timing and stuff, just not having those guys out, especially in full pads for scrimmages and stuff? Uh, we do a great job, you know. I mean, y'all see it on routes on there and things like that. I mean, of, you know, getting as many reps as possible. I mean, we have a, this thing called the fastest 40. So we're doing 40 reps of seven on seven. So it's, it's we're, we're moving fast. So uh, in practice, uh, we like I said, we do a great job of, you know, getting chemistry with everybody. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say like, no, it's not no different. It, of course, it's a difference, you know, but uh, our coaching staff does a great job of, you know, everybody getting reps. Um, I think they like said Isaiah had a 45 yard catch on the first play. What what did you see? Were you going against the one or the two defense? Two, the, two. Mm-hmm. What, what what did you see with that play? And you also talked about Davion Dozier uh, standing out today for you. Yeah, um, just what he's what we saw. I mean, just his versatility. I mean, we can put him out wide, put him in a slot, um, and put him on deep routes, put him on short routes, and um, he he. He was a little tired, but I mean, he still was out there running full speed and catching the ball. And uh, I, I'm extremely proud uh, proud of him how he uh, uh, executed the plays today. I mean, we asked him to do a lot, and he didn't complain or anything. And you know, with Dozier, you know, he made some big catches. And uh, what's really stuck out was um, his his uh, receiving his receiving after the catch and just knowing what to do with the. Knowing, knowing what to do with the ball and his opportunities. And, you know, like like you said, you know, Drew and Ty, you know, we're out. But, you know, our receivers did a great job of stepping up and just the opportunities that they have. And so that, that, that was pretty cool to see. Caroline, can you – I asked Coach Pittman, uh, can you comment on Bobby Petrino, what he's meant to you and how the learning – just what all he brings to the offense? I'll say first, just the mentality, you know, mentality of – Every single time we get the ball, our goal is to score. And he's like, we are, we are going to score. And um, Coach Pitt said belief, and that's really big too. You know, anything that he says, you know, we're not going to question. You know, we believe, you know, if if he says this coverage, um, our progression is this, 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 like we're going to do it every single time. And, I mean, when, we, when we're uh, like a little slow, he'll – uh, have the offense like bring it up and he'll you know say say a couple words you know but that's just the thing you know just mentality and just the belief that we have you know that every single time we're going to step on the field we're going to score last year saving they lost quite a few players after the season at linebacker to the transfer portal but you and Dix and and worth and switzer came in just i think that's it the transfers just talk about how their linebacker room is coming around and how you feel like it's producing uh, I think we're coming along pretty good. Um, you know, of course, we got things we need to get better at, but other than that, everybody working, everybody happy, and you know, we like brothers in there. You know, we joke around uh, in the locker room, the linebacker row, like we all sit together and stuff, eat together and things like that. So I say we're a family. If anything, you know, we we close net in the linebacker room. How are those two freshmen that came in in the summer, Simmons and the the, the other one? How are they doing? The they oh, yeah. came in a little late, but didn't go through spring. But how are they doing? Yes, sir. B. Shaw and um, Simmons, yeah, they're doing good. They're doing great. Um, I tell them all the time they they way um, advanced than I was my freshman year when I came into college. You know, they they way ahead of me. So um, that's credit to those guys. You know, they they good players and come from good programs, high school programs. Um, B. Shaw came from Hoover. Came from Hoover, so um, you can tell he's been coached. He's been, you know, he's going to be a player. So, David, I wanted to get your take on today, what you saw from the first unit on defense. And he said slow start, but that did that apply to the ones? And what did you like about what you saw today? And what do y'all got to polish up? Uh, yeah, I said the defense, the first drive or two, we, we started slow. Um, you know, we just got to come out there with – fire you know just come out there and it was kind of early but you know that can't be an excuse we're gonna have early games morning games so um, we just got to get out there go out there and just you know put our foot on the gas just go you had a scramble I guess for a touchdown or maybe it was called but what did you think of the run touchdown. game it's touchdown. I'll say it's touchdown <laughs> okay <laughs> what did you think of the run game overall today um I felt like what coach Pitt said I mean early um we was able to you know run the ball I felt really efficiently 
Um, I feel like, you know, towards the end of the scrimmage, you know, everybody got, you know, fatigued. And that's what, you know, we got to work on, you know, mentally just locking in on our keys and with me and my checks and just knowing that and uh, just being uh, being the most physical team, you know, for all four quarters, not just one half. So that's what, you know, one thing we're going to work on um, even in, in tomorrow and, you know, in the film room. Jalen, Coach Petrino said in spring that a lot of it for you starts with footwork and mechanics. Just what has he worked with you specifically on with that and how much do you feel like you've improved? I would say right when we right when we step on the football field and, you know, we're, we do a quick stretch, but then we're, it's automatic fundamentals, you know, it's automatic footwork. And um, he tells me all the time, get over the top. And um, that's what he's really, really intentionally, you know, when we do like special teams, uh, you know, they're on their own field and we're on like a totally different field, just working consistently on fundamentals and building that the habits, you know, if, if we're if we're struggling on you know this one type of footwork and this you know either play action or drop back we're gonna work it and we're gonna drill it um, and uh, like repetitive um, so he's done he does a great job of you know if we're struggling with some um, doing it uh, while it's like special teams and stuff so like the next period he's gonna call it and you know just it's all about just being you know confident um, and just sticking to the fundamentals when the bullets are flying I feel like he does a great job of you know instilling that in us. Taylor, uh, what did you see from the offensive line today, pass pro um, specifically? Uh, how, you know, I think last year when we had this first scrimmage, Sam was honest with us that they struggled. So, you know, what did you see from them today? I feel like, honestly, they did uh, a good job, you know. Um, of course, you know, there's a couple times where, you know, it broke down, but um, we're going to go back to the film room and, you know, correct some stuff and the stuff I need to, you know, do check. So it's it's a it's an 11-man job, you know, so – I feel like, I mean, for the first scrimmage, it was it was good. I mean, of course, it can be better, and of course, you know, it will be better. Um, but you know, I'm extremely proud of of, of the guys, you know, because we're switching, you know, center, guard, tackle. I mean, it's it's a lot on them, but you know, they're doing a, a really good job. So I'm extremely proud proud of them for that. And uh, we talked to Landon Jackson yesterday, and he said he kind of he sought you out, uh, kind of when when you got here and stuff. As you guys are trying to be the two leaders of the program, what's that relationship like between you and him? Obviously, different sides of the ball, but um, you know, how have you guys kind of grown as as friends and teammates? I feel like it's 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 really special. You know, um, he sees things you know in a different a defensive point of view. So I mean, he'll come up to me and say, "Hey, like." get the offense rolling and like just say some things and I'm it's, it's back and forth and like we'll meet up like on the 50 yard line we'll say like some quick words and we, we did it today um so it's, it's really special you know we always you know go back and forth you know even on this uh in the locker room I see him in the locker room we say a couple words and, and um and I'll just pick his brain you know because you know we have like zone reads and I'm reading him and stuff like that and you know he's a really good player I feel like he's the best DN in the SEC and I'm seeing that every single every single practice so i'm always picking his brain he's picking my brain so it's, it's a really cool uh, dynamic hey Taylor, i've got a big picture question for you coming here to arkansas how much did you view it as like a reset to learn new habits get rid of bad habits things of that nature can you say it again just just coming here how much of a did, did you view it as a reset in your career um honestly like right when you know i met with uh, coach petrino you know i knew a couple of things I had to, you know, get better at that I saw. And he, you know, he already had his notes and stuff. <laughs> but, you know, he had a plan. And that's what really uh, spoke out to me. He had a plan on on the different drills and the different film things we can do uh, to help me. And that's what, you know, really spoke a lot. And that's right when I committed, I'm, I was ready. You know, I was ready to go. So right when I got here in January, you know, we started um, that process. And, you know, I feel like just these short – short months I've been here I've grown a lot um not just you know physically but you know mentally and just knowing the game so I'm I'm definitely um grateful for the you know the opportunity that I have to be coached by you know one of the best that to ever do it so you said there were areas you wanted to grow what were they and and how have you how far have you come you know like like um like the question said I mean of course footwork it always starts with footwork um when the bullets are flying just you know, staying calm in the pocket and uh, trusting, you know, the routes and trusting the protection, um, consistent with my, you know, uh, mechanics and and just knowing knowing the game and knowing uh, the offense, you know, like the back of my hand and understanding, 
you know, matchups and understanding not just not just coverages and not just defensive line, but matchups and, you know, how my guys um, get off the line and uh, how my guys uh, win their one-on-one -on -one matchups. And that's what it is, you know, just trying to pick out the one-on-one -on -one matchups. Taylor, going back to the offensive line, you know, with, with Kudis being out, we've seen Nichols and Wiggins both get reps at center. Just how is Wiggins handling, you know, the center spot? Is there any, like, do you have to get extra reps with him to get that timing down or just how's that going? It's going good. I mean, we do a, I feel like as a quarterback and offensive line, like dynamic, we try to do similar things. Like say, like we do like a cadence. Um, Coach Petrino is like, my cadence has to be the same as Malachi's. Malachi's has to be the same as KJ's. Like it shouldn't be no drop off, you know? So we try to do this similar things and they try to do the similar things with, you know, how, like how soon they snap the ball. And stuff like that. So it's it's really cool to, of the consistency and uh, just the, the the dynamic that they have. So, and then Coach Pittman told us today that Luke has was didn't go today, but I mean you still got you know Ty Washington and Varkis going. Just how nice is it to have maybe that deep of a tight end room to to have there? Like you said, you see how deep the tight end room is uh, with you know uh, Gums there uh, and Washington and you know Shamar and you know all of them. They just, they're a threat, you know, they're a threat, not just passing, but running too, you know, they can run block, they can receive the ball. So it's definitely, it's definitely a a, a matchup that we like. And we, we can do one tight end, we can do two tight ends in the game. And, you know, it's, it's definitely, you know, as a quarterback, you, you love to see that. Taylor, Sam said, you know, obviously as a quarterback, you might have some some thoughts on how, how Malachi is doing. Just so what, what, what do you think? Oh, he's really He's really grown, you know, he's really grown from just just from the spring, you know, and, and into the summer and just the consistency that he's had, you know, uh, to each practice. And, you know, a big thing he I see him doing like when he doesn't understand something, he asks questions like say like something was wrong with like he didn't understand like a defense or something like that, that like right after that rack or right after that play, like he'll turn around and, you know, ask a question and. Um, and, you know, of course, you know, Coach Petrino and myself, you know, has a, has an answer. But, you know, his his mentality of always, you know, seeking seeking the answer, you know, that's what's a really a really thing that st uh, sticks out. He's just been, you know, really fluid, you know, in his reads and his progression. So I'm definitely extremely proud of him. And, and then um, you guys obviously aren't, aren't playing special teams. Well, I don't know if it, it you are, but <laughs> Sam said the kickers had a really good day today. Actually, Kyle gave us the stats. Um, and I know they didn't kick real well in the stadium. You know, the coaches told us that. Just as, you know, knowing how important kicking is in the SEC, close games, just how, how good does that make the players feel when you see the kickers doing good like that in a scrimmage? It means a lot. It means a lot. But, you know, more importantly, it just reflects on how much work they do. Uh, there's a, plenty of times where, you know, I'm walking the facility, you know, after like class or like after workouts and stuff, and they're kicking the ball in the end or kicking the ball outside, you know, um, they playing, you know, their music and stuff. And the, even long snappers are there. And so that just, you know, speaks to just the amount of work that they put in the whole uh, special teams, you know, group. And, you know, when we walk into the team room, they're in, they're in the front. And so that, so they, they know that, you know, they, they, you could tell they love what they do. You know, that's what that's what speaks a lot. Yeah, I don't, I don't want you to fall asleep up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the question? The kickers having a good day. Just how good does that make? You know, it's baseball. You know, it's like if you're if you're real, if you're both having good, it's mm. good for everybody. Just how that makes you feel. Oh, not it, it definitely. Uh... You know, we we got confidence in them. You know, close the games. We trust them to go out there and seal the deal. If it's one point, two point, you know, we we trust our kickers to go out there and get the job done. So, you know, we got what well, we got one, two, three. We got a couple kickers yeah. that they, they kicking good. So booting, man, they kicking good. Xavier, I know you haven't gotten to tackle him, but just what do you make from a defensive perspective of Taylor's ability to run? He can run. <laughs> So uh, don't get in the foot race with them. You know, you it's, and it's hard. You know, so you just gotta. I mean, it ain't too much you can do. Like once he get in front of you, he in front of you. So and you just, you know, credit's down. You know, he on our team. Go hard. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and then both of you, I know Landon Jackson's the one that's going against him mostly, but with Fernando Carmona, just what makes him stand out, Taylor, from your perspective and then also from the defensive side? I would say just their back and forth battles, like every single day they battling, you know. I mean, he wins a rep. I mean, Junior wins a rep and Landon wins a rep and they don't take, you know, plays off, you know. Um, they're always going back and forth and they're always, you know, communicating on, on what they think. And so that's what, you know, I like, you know, because you know, that's the blind side, you know, just, but I have full trust in, in Junior and, you know, just each and every day having that, having that work is, you know, is, is second to none. Something I remember about um, that Petrino said years ago was like you get to the fourth quarter and same linebackers out there, same safeties out there, but a different running back. And I was curious what your thoughts were on tackling a guy like Braylon Russell who goes, what, 6'2", 253. What a challenge that is. And also, Taylor, your thoughts on, um, you know, just having a consistent running game and and the growth that, that Braylon has showed also. Uh, for me, tackling the running back like Braylon, I mean, you just – you got to bring your feet. Um, he coming, you know, Braylon coming. Once he get the ball and he, he coming down here, he coming. So, you can't – can't be sleep or he gonna he gonna put you to sleep. So um <laughs> that's my input on Braylon. He he can run. He's a heavy runner and um uh, he's not scared of contact. He'll he'll get down here quick. He'll find a gap and he'll hit it. So you know, I'll say having a good run game, you know, it, it all starts with the run game. And you know, like I said, if you have a good run game, it sets the tone. You know, it sets the tone for the offense, offensive line, the receivers, you know, everybody gets hyped. Um, and his his growth, he just his knowledge of the offense has grown tremendously. And, you know, a big part of of him is, you know, just as a person, you know, you know when Braylon walks in the room, like he's going, you know, you know, he's going to have a laugh. He laughs all the time. He always makes jokes. So, I mean, just just having that that type of person you know, on the team is, you know, speaks a lot. And especially, you know, coming from a freshman, he's not he's not afraid to, you know, speak his mind. And that's what you know, that's why I like. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.